I'm Lisa Bubari, and this is Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, your expert hypnotherapist. And I call, um, I've had many who say not only you're a hypnotherapist, but a coach, a guide, uh, someone who inspires me. You know what? We can name it whatever we want, but today we're going to be talking about uh, metaphors and how I utilize metaphors, not only with my clients, but most of my day. So let's talk about metaphors today and also talk about rituals and your habits that empower you, got, uh, ground you, and inspire you to um, have a great day and start your day. You see, everything starts with um, an intention and I like to call it intention because it is setting intentions that it sets us on the path or on our journey to achieve the goals that we want and for that um, I must also say that we everything that we do repetition 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 habits behaviors uh, setting uh, daily goals and rituals are like creating a certain uh, habitual practice that you do for yourself. I was listening to uh, a podcast and this wonderful lady was talking about uh, the ritual and habit that she has created that every single morning as she wakes up, she wakes up, takes a cold shower and then goes on a walk. Um, she takes the cold shower first to awaken all her senses and then she goes for a walk and then she does her daily routines and that sets like an awakeness for her mine is different i wake up and the first thing that i do is not only my stretch but taking my dog for a walk on this beautiful path next to my home and as I am walking, I have these incantations that I do, that every step that I take, I am moving forward in life to achieving something and bringing abundance. Then I become so aware and grounded, so aware of, because it's a pathway, that different trees are there. I become aware of the changing of the colors during our seasons, but every day there is a change. I become so aware of even birds and hawks. Uh, yes, I have seen two hawks and uh, all kinds of birds from the little chirpy ones to the other birds. And I've even seen seagulls around um, that they come in a beautiful um, um, formation. So I become aware of their formation. And sometimes I like to count them and see how they are coming. Beautiful, they flock together. Then I also look down as I am stepping while my dog is doing his sniffing and everything. Even the path that a beautiful snail may have walked and has left this trail and this beautiful, I don't see the snail, but I look at the trail. So you see how, how detailed we can be. And by looking at that is becoming grateful, not only what I see, what I hear, is what uh, the, the place that I am walking on, which is Mother Earth, and doing my incantations, affirmations that I do daily. And sometimes it's different every day in every way, right? I bring abundance to myself. I ground myself so I can hold space for my clients. And I wonder, what are your daily rituals? What daily rituals do you have that holds space not only for you, but grounds you and gives you a sense of stability, gives you a sense of oneness with you? 
for your daily routines, to be with family, for your children, at work, and be working outside now if you've started traveling. So those daily affirmations and rituals, if you create this a ritual that enhances your mind, your spirit, and grounds your body or gives you a lift off by exercising, endorphins, and everything, you are doing not only something good for you, but also for those who happen to be in your life daily. Here's another one. It also gives me patience. Because when I feel grounded, I am more patient. And that patience allows me to have a sense of sitting back and listening. Truly listening intently for my client and what they are saying. So instead of interrupting, I hold space to hear what they have to say. You see, everything we do has a purpose behind it. And as a clinical hypnotherapist, if I want to take my client into a deeper level for them to feel not only grounded with themselves, but to hear and see things beyond what is, beyond the surface, beyond their conscious level, to tap into the con subconscious level in order for us to awaken patterns, behaviors, and habits that no longer serve, you must allow yourself to hear it, to see it, and to come bring it to surface. You see, we come to believe things that has been instilled in us. And when you do something repetition, repetition for 33 consecutive days, and you shift a habit that no longer serves you into a habit that you want to bring forth into your life, you get to see it everywhere. You get to recognize it. You get to become aware of it. Allow me to say this. Metaphors, I use metaphors all the time. Actually, one of the biggest metaphors I use is pathways, a journey on a pathway, a pathway that you walk upon. And when I take my client, when I take you into that deeper level and I will do a guided visualization before I end the session today, I want you to experience how a metaphor can work for you. And it can be an elevator, it can be the ocean, it can be a train. Um, everything can become a metaphor. You know, if you pick, I don't have one with me, but even if you pick, pick a rock and you put that rock in your hand, you know, nowadays there are all kinds of rocks that you can just hold on to. And some say, well, rose quartz is good for the heart. It's good for love. Yes, it's energetic. Crystals, all crystals have energy because of where they come from. But if you take a rock on a pathway that you are walking on and you bring it home and you wash it, and with the intention that this rock represents, because as I was walking down the path, I was thinking about, give me God, give me a symbol, universe, give me a symbol that helps me become strong. And you not, ne not necessarily stumble upon, but you see this rock just in the shape of 
an oval shape or a heart shape and you go thank you for the message and that's the rock that you bring home you wash it and you do a, a ritual of a prayer and then you allow it to sit under the sun and you bring it inside after an hour of getting sun's energy and you place it in your hand and you know you can take uh, a nail polish or a marker and you put whatever affirmation you want on it or the date it can be a date today's date or whenever it is that you recognize that rock and you put a heart and a date or your initials whatever you want means something to you and you place that rock with you in your pocket in your purse in, in front of your computer and every single day you look at that rock and that rock represents the intention set on that day and every single day you can touch it or just by looking at that rock you realize that every day in every way this message this symbol this symbolizing rock is bringing validating strengthening and grounding me for my thoughts desires and affirmations becoming reality you see it's just a simple rock and i'm sure so many of you know it that you see a penny you pick a penny and you see money you pick a money and a while ago long time ago i started doing the same thing everywhere i went every time at one time i used to uh, live within the city downtown and when i used to take my dog for a walk at 11 o'clock 11 30 at night we would go up and down the boulevard and all the restaurants were closed after 11 o'clock and you know what it was uncanny it was like it would happen every single night i would set an intention saying i wonder what abundance am i coming to tonight and how much money will i find even if it was sometimes i would see a penny and i would pick a penny sometimes i would see a dollar someone had dropped a dollar and it would be like a quarter here and then two blocks later i would find another quarter i would come home and i created a beautiful jar for all the money i found from my walks and the at you know at the end when i was leaving my condo and when I counted, that jar had over like $70 of coins and money in there. Now, that's a lot of money for years of walking and picking up just coins and abundance. It's not how much money, but it is setting the intentions. And that money became the metaphor for me. The same way as you can sit back and you breathe in and out and with each and every breath that you take in you bring in vitality and oxygen and remember that as you hold your breath four counts four three two one and exhale you release and let go of tension worries doubt and you do this over and over and you do it for seven times and by the time that you are releasing and ready to take on your next workout your next going somewhere meeting someone you have already grounded yourself seven times just breathe in hold four three two one and exhale and let go here's another metaphor 
that bringing love. It's like it was the Persian New Year. I placed, uh, I did a post about it, what the uh, seven S's mean from the seven half scene that we put together. And I've had incredible comments and thank you for all of you saying Happy New Year. It is the new year. It is the new equinox of the day and night coming together, becoming one. And it's like it's half, exactly half on the 20th that happened. And when that's a new ritual when you do this half scene and everything. So I was bringing a lot of love. Over the weekend, we went to Westwood. For those of you who are in the Los Angeles area, you know Westwood It is absolutely an amazing, that's where UCLA is. And then walking down the blocks, I came to a store that I have been admiring, following on Instagram, seeing posts and loving it. It is this store called Ishq, which is love. And in Farsi, that's what it is, love at the highest level, which is Ishq, which is the purest love. And it's the love of Ishq mi barzam. That means I... Uh, abundance of love and the love that we talk about be the intimate love of a man and a woman and so that the beauty of that so as I walked in that store it, and the owner came Mr. Bachman I was like oh it is you and of course with COVID, I couldn't hug, but it was like, you know, that abundance of love and him welcoming us late at night at approximately 10 o'clock at night. And he was still there and the joy. And I bought this beautiful shirt that it's the poetry of love and this beautiful poetry that is on this blouse. And I'm wearing it today because of not only for the new year, but it became a metaphor. Just the words, Eshq. it's a metaphor of what I want to create and bring forth not only into my life, an intimate love, but a metaphor of how I approach my life, my clients, my office, saging my office in the morning and burning the Palo Santo uh, wood, the burning of that, that clears, clears the energy, clears all the negativity. And then when you sage, you bring forth all the energy, the abundance and good. You see, those are rituals, daily rituals, that not only I practice it, I share it, I give it, and clapping also clears all negative energy. Dancing, music, those are things, rituals and metaphors that awakens you to your purest essence of who you are. And here, I want to know what are your rituals, what are your practices, and what are the things that you do in your life that brings love, abundance, health, joy to you. I am here to support you, ground you, and be of service. So for now, ah, allow me i don't have my um uh, my uh gong with me but if um i was gonna say allow me to bring my sound healing allow me hold on <laughs> my office i love my office i it, it just brings me so much joy and comfort and peace it brings a serenity from the moment you walk in here, not only feeling that place of serenity and space, holding space for you, but there's always music, 
subtle music. Sometimes you don't hear it, but it's in the background. The scent that I choose for the day, even myself, what I wear, the scent that I wear. Um, and sometimes I put Nakchampa. And so today, let us do this. I got up an hour before sunrise to enjoy a peaceful time while everyone else is sleeping, even the furry creatures. I love that quiet time. Yes, truly. We all need a quiet time to be one with ourselves, with our thoughts, with our desires, what we want to create in life, and how it sets our day for what is to come. And that way, not only we honor ourselves, but we truly honor those who are with us and share space with us. So allow me, you can just sit back and relax. This can get loud. The vibration of music and everything that you use in itself can be a metaphor to enlighten you, to spark you, and awaken all that needs be. So as you close your eyes for just a moment, I want you to imagine And give yourself permission to become one with all that there is. And imagine as if a pendulum drops from the center of your head all the way down. And it goes straight down your spine. Aligned with your spine all the way down even in between your legs all the way down to grounding you to Mother Earth. And as you feel grounded and safe, allowing every sound to disappear to the background, and you become aware of only your own breath, your heartbeat, even your pulse. And as you become aware, just allow every thought, every idea, every concept, every image, every color and every shape to fade away. Think it and let it go. Think it and let it go. Every thought that comes into your mind, validate it and let it go. 
every thought that comes into your mind, validate it. Or you can just say, I'll deal with you later. That's it. And it doesn't matter if it is a good thought or a negative thought, an angry thought, a loving thought. A thought is just a thought. They come and they go. And if there is a thought that repeats over and over and over and over, and you want to stop that thought, you do have a choice. You think it, and you can delete it. Drop it. Delete. Think it. Validate it. Delete it. Think it. Validate it. Or keep it. Think it. Validate it. Delete it, or think it, validate it, keep it. And as you allow all thoughts to come and go, eventually you'll get to a point that as you are relaxing your thoughts, you're relaxing your mind, you're relaxing your body, you easily and gently drift into a state of utter relaxation until your thoughts no longer come and they just linger and they go into their own perspective places. That's it. Just breathing in and out. Focusing only on your breath. Focusing only on your own breath. Focusing only on your breath. With each and every breath that you breathe, as you breathe in and out, saying yes to all the thoughts, ideas, images, shapes, colors, feelings that you want to keep. And letting go of those that you no longer need. <sighs> Blow it away. Let it go. Delete it. And as you continue doing this, you have this internal smile as you begin to practice this three minute exercise and gently open your eyes and realize you feel lighter, you feel less exhausted and have a small little inner peace and a smile upon your face. And with that, here and until next week utilize metaphors to assist you guide you ground you and bring forth for you the best that you desire until next week god bless you and may the universal light surround you subscribe follow, share. See you next week. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.